Hey guys, this is Jack again. Hey, you ever just find yourself in need of a picnic table? Well, I have. Uh, it's been 40 years ago. My wife stuck her head out the back door one day, and I was piling up my lumber to build my garage. And she said, the whole family's coming over tomorrow for lunch in the middle of August. We didn't have air conditioning in the house, and we couldn't fit 25 people in there if we tried. But I had a crop of lawn chairs that just didn't have 25 of them. So I started stealing boards from my lumber pile from the garage. And I built this picnic table. Today they're about 70 bucks. I think the last time I built my daughter a new one. And uh, I probably built 20 of these tables over the years. But the plans work out pretty good. They're my dimensions. But they're, I can tell you right now, they're the same dimensions of almost every picnic table that exists. It's six foot long. It'll seat about four people on each side pretty easily. So, um, well, let's get with it. And now what you're going to need is, you know, the actual count is 13 six-foot two-by-sixes. If you're buying CCA-treated lumber, you, most places don't carry six-footers. So what you're going to have to do is go to the lumber yard and have them cut you uh, seven 12-foot boards in half. So you're going to end up with 14 boards. You'll have a spare. Uh, you're going to need two 8-foot 2x4s and get all this lumber out of, again, CCA-treated pine. You're going to need one pound of 3-inch number 8 deck screws. The, um, the carriage bolts there are real important. You're going to need 16 3 inch long with 3 8 carriage bolts. And make sure you get washers and nuts. One, one washer, one nut for each one of those bolts. Now, if you go on my website, <laughs> here we go. you got to get the commercial with everything. Uh, it's www.jacksfurnitureplans, all one word, J-A-C-K-S, furnitureplans.com. You can get this PDF and just download it and print it, make it easier to work on for you. But on that PDF plan, it shows all these boards and where they go together. We're going to cut each one of them here in just a second. Okay, now we can get your boards. I show you on here, for example, the center brace. Um... It shows in parentheses a two. That means you're going to have to cut two of these boards. The leg, you're going to have to cut four. Of. So I, I keep this as simple as I can keep it because that's what I like. At any rate, get these boards all cut. I'll show you there's a couple of more of them. Just a second. Okay, this gets the rest of them in there. I wanted to blow the, the sheet up a little bit so you could see these numbers real good on the on the computer screen. And it shows your 72-inch boards. That's the tabletop and the seats. You're going to need nine of those boards. And it just shows you which boards go. So go ahead and get your boards all cut up, and we'll put it together. This part here is a little tricky. What you want to do is take your legs and make sure the bottom is up against a flat surface somewhere. All right? Uh, and then measure that you're 52 across them at the bottom. And then go up at the top where the two legs come together at the narrow point. And make sure that you're 21 and 3 eighths inches across there. Um, take that cross member, your top cross member, and measure in 4 and 1 16th. Just put your little mark on both ends. And then the seat support. Measure in 11 and 9 sixteenths from both ends and put your mark. And then you're going to have to f measure up from your flat surface you're building against 14 and a half inches. And that's going to be the top of your seat support. And then, of course, the tabletop support, it's right at the end of the boards up there. When you get this thing all laid out, double check all your dimensions. Make sure everything's right. Make sure it's, it's good and square up against, say, if you're building on your porch up against your wall. Or if you're just building out in the driveway, make sure it's they're, they're shoved down flat against the two before. And then lay your boards on there and get your dimensions all just right. And then go in and drill three-eighths holes. Now you want one up here in the corner. Another one down in this area. Same thing here. One up here in the corner. One down in this area. Don't get them too close to the edges. Keep them about three quarter inches back from the edges of, of the legs and the supports. When you get all those eight holes figured out where you're going to drill them, drill them 
all the way through that cross member at about halfway into the leg. And I'll tell you why. If you drill them all the way through the leg, you're going to hit concrete or a rock. And it's going to ruin your drill bit. So just drill all eight of your holes all the way through the cross member at about halfway through the leg. And then just lay the cross members off a little ways and, and pick your, your legs up and drill them all the way through. Put your carriage bolts in there. Run your nuts and washers on there. Your washer first, of course, and then the nut. And um, just before you snug it up, check all your dimensions one more time. When you get two of those built, okay, go ahead and set them both up. You're going to have to have somebody help you stand there and hold them up. Then lay your six-foot boards across there. Now, what I do is lay the outside top boards on first. And run two screws down through them. Then I'll put these two boards here on the outside seat boards. Just a couple of screws down through each one of those. Then you should be able to just lay these boards right up against the leg on the inside. Screw them on. Then I'll measure over 14 three quarters. Find my center here. Put the center board on. And then just kind of evenly space these two boards here. And again, put at least two screws in each one of these boards down to the center supports. Now, once you get your seats and your top all bolted onto them legs, boy, it's starting to look pretty much like a picnic table. But I can tell you that if you sit on it, it'll just fall over. It'll rack this direction or that direction. It'll just fall over. Go ahead and clamp that center support board. Now make sure it's dead in the center of your six foot boards, right? Underneath the tabletop there. So measure over and make sure it's, it's three foot from both directions to the center. And run you a couple screws in there. Run the screws into the end boards first, the outside most boards first. Uh, you might even want to clamp them up there with a seat clamp or uh, whatever kind of clamp you might have or just have... Bob and George stand there and mash them up against there for you and hold them real tight. At any rate, then go ahead and run two screws through each board into that center support. At this point, it's probably a, about the right time to fire up the grill. Okay, then while that's getting good and hot, put them two support boards on there, the ones that look like it, make it look like an A frame under there. Run a couple of screws in through the end supports. And a couple down through the top. Okay. And then screw these uh, screw these little center support boards on the seats. You won't think them are doing much, but they'll keep the seats from warping apart from each other and, and looking goofy and, and being uncomfortable for the two people in the middle. Uh, at this point, your brats are probably starting to brown pretty good. Uh, go ahead and set that table where you're going to leave it. Uh, hopefully it's close to the grill. Pop top on a Coleman and enjoy yourself. Listen, if you want the PDF prints of this, just go to www.jacksfurnitureplans.com jacksfurnitureplans.com and um, this PDF, this, this, this plan set here is on there in a PDF or a Word doc. I think it's a PDF file. Now go ahead and print that out if you want to, and you'll have all this stuff and, and a few other notes and that kind of thing. Listen, uh, enjoy the table and enjoy them brats.